So today, something launches all across the UK, which I'm a part of. I'm yet to see it in person. I'm super excited to do so. And I thought I would take you along with me. However, before we get into it, I'm gonna take you back to January of this year, which is kind of where this whole video concept comes from. Today is shoot day. It's currently 10 to five in the morning. 10 to 5 in the morning. I'm looking forward to it, but man. Yo, that's me. That is me. I'm in my local shopping center and here I am. Like, honestly, honestly, like words, can, like words cannot describe this, this strange, strange feeling. Just imagine going into your local shopping mall or into your local town, walking down the street and seeing yourself on a storefront. Like, you just can't put it into words. It's, it's so, so alien. Yes, yes, so in this segment of the video, we're just gonna discuss how, why, and what. So first and foremost, how did this opportunity come about? Put very simply, I was DM'd through Instagram by, let's call them an agency. They requested a short video of me talking and some full body shots so that they could present those to the client, which in this case was Sports Direct. For a very basic explanation, that is all well and good, but when we dig a little deeper, I'm not a model. Not only do I not have an agency, a representative, a manager, a portfolio, I'm also 5'7", I'm pretty stocky for my height and I don't have your typical model build. That isn't me fishing for compliments in any way. It's just fact. Like when you think of a male athletic model build and shape, it's probably over six foot slim. Like that just, it's just not me. So, and so ultimately, the reason this came about, the how, truthfully, is because of this YouTube channel. If I didn't have this YouTube channel, this opportunity, as well as many others, wouldn't be a thing. And so, fundamentally, at the root, you guys are responsible for this opportunity. And in a very typical YouTuber fashion, I simply cannot thank you guys enough, like genuinely. And so moving on to the why, this shoot came about because Sports Direct were looking to promote or I guess publish a campaign on their spring summer collection. Given that I had run every day last year and had expressed my passion for running, I feel like that was what led me to be contacted for this opportunity. I knew the images were gonna be used for like e-com, so when you go on the website, you might see a few images of me. However, it wasn't until we finished shooting that I realized they were planning to use some of the images in stores, in video format, in print. Like, yeah, it, it, it's gone the whole, I don't even know what the saying is. Like, it's just, it's just gone the full distance, basically. And so what does this mean? To me, it's a huge milestone worth celebrating. We've established this opportunity only came as a result of having this YouTube platform. However, when I made my first ever video, which I know there are still some of you that watch since then, which just honestly blows my mind, YouTube and I guess like the sort of social stigma around YouTube was very different. It's probably a lot more accepted now if you are to make a YouTube channel from scratch, but Back when I made it, like I received a fair amount of stick, but ultimately I'm so happy that I didn't let those little comments get to me. I just, I just continued to pursue it. And as a result, I've been able to work with brands literally located all across the globe. I represented ASOS for a few years. I've featured in a TV commercial during lockdown. And now most recently I'm on storefronts across the UK. Like, 
you, you just can't make these things up. It just it just feels like a simulation at times. It, it is crazy. Bringing this experience full circle, I want to first start by saying, ultimately, this isn't too significant. I mean, nobody's life is gonna change because I'm now on the front of Sports Direct. It's not even the best image. Like, I, I totally, totally know all this. But if anything, it inspires me to remain curious in my hobbies and interests. It inspires me to continue pursuing things that I'm passionate about because who knows? Who knows what's on the other end? If you told me when I first made a YouTube channel that it would result in this, there is zero way I would have believed it. Like, I think quite like an optimistic idea that, that I like to approach life with. It's just this idea that you don't know necessarily what experiences await you. You don't know what they look like. You don't know who you're gonna meet. You don't know how you're gonna feel. And I think fundamentally it boils down to two things. First, it's remaining curious. And secondly, it's being open to new experiences saying yes and jumping to opportunities. Seeing myself on these storefronts to me serves as the ultimate reminder that life is a mystery, like you have no idea where you'll be in 5, 10, 15 years. And so it's just a case of riding that wave, enjoying the process and ultimately, yeah, remaining curious. I feel like now more than ever, I owe you guys the biggest thank you, especially if you're someone who's watched to this point in the video, like we've shared part of your day and that is it's the biggest compliment as always if you enjoyed a thumbs up is greatly appreciated be sure to subscribe if you haven't already let me know your thoughts in the comments if you've got any questions i'll be sure to answer them for the odd bit of hair and spo lifestyle clip or just to stay in the loop be sure to follow me on instagram at lucasaid until then i will see you all next week with another video take care guys Bye bye